xyp.com use code cute at checkout it's easy fast legit link down below with me buying coins off this website go save your time go save your money right now 500k is below $14 when you use code cute all right guys top 10 tight ends let's go ahead and get to it I already did a wide receiver tier list today go see where everybody ranks up the clip the picture who you should have on your team and I did a top 10 cornerback list how good is Charles Woodson? Where does he rank? All those videos are up. This is the third video of the day. Hit the like button, support the channel, join the channel and get a shout out in every video. You'll see at the end that I shout out every person that joins. So we're here. Acceleration, not good. Duke spin, not good. Trucking's good, blocking's good. And his abilities are not the best. So Rex Technician, I like to see that as zero. It's a two, so it's not even usable. So he's not gonna run the best routes but he is number 10. 97 speed, he is 6'4". His spin and juke actually feels good with this card. He will not block. Uh, he does not run the best routes and he's not the most dependable across the middle. That's why I don't have him higher. And yeah, this card is gonna be good for a blocker. If you need somebody to block and you wanna put him at wide receiver and you're just gonna spam the run, you can do that. He has 99 jumping, so he's actually a little bit better at jump balls than you think in the red zone. He'll be a good target, but this guy, after the catch, he really doesn't do much uh, far as falling forward. I, you know, he's 240 pounds. I see him get knocked backwards quite a bit. Now, who's next and who's better? Up next, guys, we got OJ Howard. Six foot six, 99 XL. That's kind of crazy, right? So this guy is going to be good enough and big enough to run rounds. But there's going to be a couple things I don't like about him. His blocking, his spin move. Uh... Across the middle, can he catch? Yes, is he most dependable? No, I don't know why people are buying him for 1.4. People are silly. Um, this card is good enough to use, but I'm just gonna tell you right now, there's guys that are just more complete. I like to get a tight end you can set there and just forget it, right? You can have him block, you don't worry about moving him. He's good at everything. Uh, he's good after the catch. And this guy really isn't that good at Unicorn is next, and this guy just jumps over people, runs over people, jumps through people. He's just stupid, all right? This guy, if you go get him, you won't regret it. You talk about a guy just goes up and gets the ball. He's amazing. His blocking's not the best, however, and I don't like his spin move. So this would be very similar to the OJ Howard. You're gonna say, well, OJ Howard's faster, he's taller. It's, his animations, guys. His animations are way better. I mean, it's just stupid. He gets short in Brazil, which is nice. Uh, Unicorn's just different. Go get him. You'll see. Color is next. This guy is 6'6". Six, six. He's slower than OJ, but he can spin, juke, all that. He trucks way better than OJ. People are selling for 250K or 250 coins. You better go get him. Um, this card is really good. Uh, I like him. He's dependable. Now, his animation is way better than OJ as far as getting a jump ball. You just feel more confident throwing the ball. This guy is a 99 gold at wide receiver. Some of you may not know that. It's pretty crazy. So, yeah, he's pretty good. I like he's next. 6'5". He's got way less excel. But the difference with this guy is, is you can put him at wide receiver. And I'm going to tell you something. Uh, his price is nice. His route running is nice. So... Why do I like him better? It says route run. Okay, so it depends what you want to do, right? If you want a straight line guy, go get Howard. If you want a route running guy, get Shockey. If you want a, a jump ball guy, I would get uh, out of them. You can get Unicorn. Unicorn's amazing at that. So it depends how you guys want to play. A lot of stuff depends on a lot of stuff. But this guy here has got great route running. I really like him. Um, so you can move those guys around. It's great. I actually like this card. He's so well-rounded. He actually blocks. He can actually spin, juke. He actually 6'5". He has 99 short route running. This guy is definitely better than OJ, Shockey, all of them. I love this guy. Uh, man, he's caught balls for me in fourth down in the end zone with like no time left. This guy's dependable. Um, so if you go get this guy and you spend around 400, 500K on him, he's gonna be worth it. I really like him. Uh, I've seen people use him all the time. He's really good. And he trucks too. He's over 240 pounds. I really think this guy runs 
the best routes as a tight end. All right. He's so crisp at getting separation is why I like him. Obviously, he's not going to be a blocker. But uh, just far as just getting open and you're just looking for another wide receiver out there and you're never going to put him on a blocking assignment, go get him. 6'3". He's going to turn great and get open. I love his routes. Um, he's on my team as my third tight end. And yeah, route technician for one is nice. I definitely put that on him. Now, this guy here, go get him. He's big enough. He's good. He's fast. This number two, I really like him. 6'4", speed. He, he actually blocks better than this. Um, and he actually breaks him a lot of tackles. So the difference between Gates and the other ones I just mentioned, uh, Dalton and them, he breaks more tackles than Dalton. Uh, he's definitely just going to be better at getting button battles. Uh, he trucks people. He runs people over. He's worth the coins. I really like this car. Uh, Tony Gates is going to be the guy that's going to break like way more tackles than I like, got Howard uh, for sure. He is number two on the list. And with 99 catching traffic, you can really rely on him. Number one is going to be Tony G, guys. He's got crazy blocking, juke, spin, all that. It says it spins at 89. It doesn't feel like that. I spin people all the time with him. He does well. He trucks people. I run people over with him. He jumps over people. And he gets great traits. I love this card. He's the most rounded. You can put him anywhere and just leave him, right? You can move him with tight end or move him out to wide receiver and just let him block. He's going to do it. And he's going to really help open up your run game. So you can move him out there to block if you want. He's really good. I really like him. Go get him. That's it for me, guys. Go watch the wide receiver tier list and the top 10 corners. Both those videos are up right now. Be kind for no reason. I'll see you in the next video. Special shout out to Justin Ashley for joining the channel. You are the GOAT. Thank you so much. Hey guys, if you want to be in every single video, join the channel. As long as you're joined, you're going to be in every video forever. I want to make a wall of fame. I want to have everybody's name. Thank you for the support, guys. Hitting the like button and subscribing. All that really does help to keep the 21 videos a week coming. Three videos every single day. So if you guys enjoy it, let me know. And thank you, Justin, for supporting the channel. Be kind for no reason. It's always been the message since day one I started this channel. It's always going to be the message. And Justin, you have a good day.